Hello everybody, happy Monday. Welcome here back to another work week in my life. I haven't had time to catch you guys up from the weekend and I don't have time now. I have to run to the post office really quick and then do my grocery shopping. So I'm going to do that. If you don't wanna see a grocery haul, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, but if you don't want to, skip ahead. I will put a little timestamp here and then we'll catch up once I get back from the grocery store and do our little haul. Back from the store, I thought I would do a quick little haul um, of what I got. This is pretty standard for us. There were some things that I don't always get that I needed for like new recipes and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is pretty standard. Um, we have some iced coffee. I love this. Our whole milk, we love as well. Um, this creamer is our favorite one to have, so had to pick up more of that. Um, we have some free range eggs that I love, some cheese we needed, some for recipes, and then this is like our favorite to um, snack on. And then later in the week, I'm gonna be making a tortellini soup, so I needed some tortellini, so I picked those up. I've been loving like a ranch dressing to um, dip like veggies in, so I have this chosen foods one. It's just like their ranch, so we'll see how that goes. And then I wanted to try this hummus as well it was zesty lemon which kind of freaks me out for some reason I don't know why but kind of sounds good because I love lemon so we'll see how that tastes um, and then shrimp for a recipe we always throw spinach in like the soup that we're gonna make or smoothies so we have a bunch of that um, I have some mandarin oranges we've been loving carrots I love to shred these up and or just like cut them up um, and snack on them a couple of bananas for Sebastian a really green avocado because I don't need it until later in the week, so I'm hoping it doesn't go bad by the time I need it. Um, some lemons and limes to cook with, onion as well, um, cilantro Sebastian loves. We have some shredded lettuce, a head of cauliflower. I'm really excited because I'm gonna be making these like um, chipotle tacos, like crispy tacos, but instead of meat, we're gonna do um, cauliflower. I think will be nice. I just wanna incorporate some like vegetarian meals, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we have strawberries as well. I had to pick up this garlic chili sauce, which sounds delicious. Um, again, for a recipe, these little chipotle peppers, um, some enchilada sauce, evaporated milk, and then some pineapple chunks, again, for a quick recipe. I needed this, which I don't even think this is correct, but I had to pick up like a white sauce mix, and this was the only sauce mix that looked white. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna be making some like pineapple chili fried um, shrimp with some coconut flakes, which I think is gonna be so, so good. So we had to get some of that. Sebastian loves these Quest bars, so I got him a s'mores, a chocolate cookie dough, um, a chocolate peanut butter, a double chocolate chunk, and cookies and cream. So he loves these. Um, for the gym or like a quick snack, something like that. I have been loving making chocolate chip cookies, so I need some more um, chocolate chips for that. You guys already know the Frosted Flake addiction cannot stop. And then Sebastian requested Life cereal, so I got him some of that. Um, for the shrimp, we needed some panko breadcrumbs, so pick some of those up. And then I thought that these would be fun for like an easy weekend breakfast. So we just have blueberry muffins and the wild berry. I used to love these as a kid. <laughs> so I picked those up. And then one night we're gonna do just like an easy pizza night. Since I'm trying a lot of new recipes, I wanted to keep it like simple towards the end of the week. So this is one of our favorites. We love it so much. And then these are Sebastian's favorite little chips. So I got him a refill on that. Um, this is our favorite bread, the Dave's Kill bread it's so good and then for those tacos we just have some corn tortillas and then normally I get our coffee well Sebastian really likes hot coffee I just drink the iced but normally I get it at Costco but I'm not um, going there just yet and he ran out of all of his so I just got him this one to like hold by coffee like this is so expensive but if we can hold off and do like a big bulk at Costco it's so much more worth it and you get a ton so I'm hoping this will last until I get to Costco, but that is it. That is my quick grocery haul. I'm gonna chuck it all away, um, get it all in its spot, and then get back to my day.
showered. I'm all ready for the day. I thought I would now chat with you guys a little bit. Um, I've been working on a couple of things and now it's like, I can't even believe it's three. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like this day is going by so fast, but I hope that you guys are excited about this video. It's going to be a lot of fun just to take you guys along with me through another week in my life. Hopefully this one is a little bit better. I felt like last week I was a little bit like not sure what to film. I felt like it was very repetitive. I don't know. So this week I'm going to challenge myself to do just different things, different aspects, all of that. But um, yeah, we had a great weekend. I was going to vlog this weekend and then I kind of just figured that I would give myself the weekend since we did have a lot of like fun just catch-ups. I got to see my friend that we hadn't seen in months and she had a new baby so we got to meet him and just hang out with our friends and then we went ice skating with my family on Sunday which was absolutely <laughs> the highlight of 2021 so far. I have obviously been ice skating before. It had been a while actually since we'd been, me and Sebastian, but my mom you know was like oh we should go and we were like yeah that's fine let's do it you know it's only open for a couple of hours and um it just seemed like a good i don't know something new to do and so we ended up going and i'm i'm not like great at it like yeah i'm not like super amazing but i'm also sorry there's like this little bitty hair um but i'm also someone i feel like can do it pretty good like i can go around very well by myself i can get pretty fast on there you know i get really like adventurous um but the second i got on the ice i was like wow this is so fun so freeing i <laughs> obviously was like with my family but um sebastian he liked it he didn't love it as much as i did i think he just loved seeing me love it so much but I would go around with him and then he would like his ankles were hurting him and he didn't really I don't know I don't think he had the right size of skates or anything so he had to take some breaks and then he would like time me on how fast I could go around and I would go really really fast and I was just getting so confident and just having the time of my life like we were only there between one to three and um I could have stayed there for four more hours I was loving it and so now my new thing is like trying to find out how i can do this more often because i loved it i could just imagine myself like listening to my audiobook <laughs> like ice skating around the ring i don't know i feel like ice skating is one of those things where it wouldn't be hard to do by yourself because even when you go with people like Sometimes you have to go slow for them or you just go around a little bit then you have to take some breaks if someone's not feeling it but then when you get like your confidence you can just go by yourself and just like whiz past everyone oh my gosh you guys it was so much fun i definitely recommend it if you enjoy ice skating some people don't um but i would recommend going to find a local ice rink and that's what i want to do more often i told Sebastian, i'm like i want to do this every single week it was so much fun i can't even tell you so anyway that was like a highlight of my weekend um and then we just um had dinner at Sebastian's mom's house and and yeah, that brings us to today. So today's been a pretty busy like go, 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 go day. I worked out. I did my Pilates. I have been loving my Pilates class, which is exciting. It's not a class. <laughs> it's just a YouTube video, but I've been really liking it. I think I just need to switch up my workouts every so often. Um, and so I've really been enjoying that. So I did that this morning. And then like you guys saw, I had to go to the grocery store, got that out of the way. And then I needed to shower, which I did. And I didn't really do anything to my hair I washed it but we're just gonna let it be for now and then I've been filming a couple of things for um, our spread social Instagram getting that ready for the next couple weeks and yeah so I don't really know what is gonna be on the agenda for this week but I'm looking forward to it um, I will say it's gonna be a crazy week for our family because Sebastian's little sister is literally moving to Paris on Thursday. She leaves, I'm pretty sure on Thursday, maybe. Yeah, on Thursday. She leaves like early in the morning on Thursday. This has been like such a long process for her just because she, you know, made the decision to want to go to school out there and then COVID happened and it just has been pushed back and pushed back. So although we're all like, I don't know feeling the saddest she's like the baby of the family and so the i don't know she's like the person who gets everybody like up and having fun and playing games and brings the fam not that we don't get together anyway but she really does like bring everybody together in the family so it's definitely going to be like a oh, 
sadness that she's not going to be around anymore, but we are just so excited for her and I know me and Sebastian cannot wait to go out and visit her and so we do have that this week. Um, and so we're all going to get together on Wednesday and we've been spending a lot of time with Sebastian's family this last weekend. So. Yeah, it just feels so crazy that she's off and doing it, but um, we're just so excited and so proud of her. So it'll be fun to have that um, to look forward to this week. And then, yeah, just a lot of work, just a lot of the same, same in my house. I will say I do want to challenge myself to get ready. I always do some sort of hair and makeup, but I think I want to challenge myself to like wear real clothes. I've just been feeling the effects of just always wearing the same sweats i feel like so that's gonna be my challenge this week hopefully um i don't know hopefully i find it enjoyable and maybe exciting and i find some like new like love for my clothes i don't know i'm just feeling very like oof with them so that should be fun but for the next little bit i'm gonna edit some videos um get some things together and then i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later Now, as we are talking about getting ready for the day, I thought I would share my little outfit. I am also washing my sheets today, so please ignore that, but I was wearing that white blouse, but that was honestly just for um, some photos and some videos that I needed to film, but I am just wearing this little tracksuit of mine. You guys know it's one of my favorites. I got it thrifted at Uptown Cheapskate. I always recommend them, and yeah, it's just very cozy, comfy, so this is gonna be like my one Maybe I'll do like two cozy sweat days. So this is gonna be my first one, um, but I never feel too like bad in this because it is like cozy sweats, but it's also cute. And so it kind of looks like I put in some effort and then I just have on my Gigi Pip hat. Like I said, I just washed my hair and ran my Revlon dry brush through it. And that is gonna be today's look. Hello everybody, it is 9.30. As you can see, it has been a long and stressful day, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's why I'm looking a little <laughs> scary, but um, I just finished up work for the day and now I'm gonna go eat something and probably fall asleep in two seconds. So, um, I don't know where I left off today, but yeah, it was definitely a Monday. Leave me a comment if you have had a Monday of all Mondays this week um, or whenever you're watching this. But yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and have a great day. And so yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I have Sebastian here with me. It's seven o'clock. And he said I was working in my office and he told me to get my shoes on because he's taking me somewhere and it's not my birthday where are we going <laughs> I'll just show you something <laughs> important okay <laughs> we're here at Starbucks and it's snowing about to get my workout in I am going to do another workout video from move with nicole it's like a pilates i think i want to try to do another bar class with her i'm wearing the most random <laughs> kind of christmasy um workout outfit but i have to do some laundry so this is what we're going with and i have to take off my socks which is one of the worst tasks when you're cold and you got to work out but i got to do it let's do it Here is day two of me trying to get dressed. I just have on my Zara 
high-waisted mom jeans. They're very wrinkled, very, you know, they're always weird in the crotch. So I don't know if I recommend these anymore, <laughs> but I think I just need a different size. They're just not, they're just not it right now. But anyway, they're comfy to work um, from home in, so that's good. And then I just have on this super oversized stripe button down from, it is thrifted from um, Uptown Cheapskate. So that is that. That's going to be today. Easy peasy. It was snowing and there was snow, but now it didn't stick. So not so much of a cozy day as I thought we were going to have, but yeah, this is today's outfit. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I am just working away on my Starbucks. I've almost finished it. So pretty good time. It was so delicious, but I will say the coffee that I make at home is pretty good. Like it's almost a little bit better. Like I feel like it's nice to have Starbucks every once in a while, but I used to like crave it and now I crave the one that I make at home. So who knows? I'm glad I'm um, having that perspective now, but yeah, I've just been working away. It is almost 11. I got ready. I did my little Pilates workout and yeah, it's a Tuesday. I'm feeling much better um, than I was last night. Um, I think it's just, I don't know, important to share sometimes when it's like a hard day or I don't know there was just a lot of emotions <laughs> yesterday obviously me and Sebastian worked together we were really well together but just like any co-worker or any business you have like frustrations and you just have to be able to vent them out and it was good I mean we're both like great today um but it was just nice to be like I don't know. It's hard. It is hard building a business and although there's like so many great benefits to it and we know that it's going to lead us to the life that we want to have and want to live but when you're like in the middle of it it's so hard and things are confusing and stressful and days are long and days are hard and when you work with your partner like that just kind of adds to everything else because then it seeps into like downtime at your like there's just never any like separation from business and life i guess i don't really know but anyway so yeah it was just um it was just a lot i didn't really sleep well but that's okay um i'm not feeling super tired so that's good so i'm just up and at him trying to have a better day and i honestly am um today's been going really well so yeah that's my spiel on that. Anyway, so I just wanted to say hello, good afternoon. I'm probably gonna eat some breakfast. I literally haven't even eaten breakfast. I've been so weird with breakfast lately. I think I talked about it in my last vlog, but it's just been like, oof. I don't know why. Food just like doesn't sound good. And then I wait until like lunch, which isn't like the best, but I don't know. So maybe I'll get a little snack in just a little bit, but I've been trying to upload my YouTube video. Usually YouTube does this to me like once a month where it will decide like all of a sudden not to work, not to upload. Um, it currently has 55 minutes left and it has been uploading for like three hours. It's so frustrating. So anyway, I don't know what that's about, but hopefully that gets up today. And yeah, I'm going to work on some things for the next little bit. And then I'll probably catch up with you guys a little bit later when I make a little snack. Hi everybody, I'm not looking well. I just did my workout and welcome to Wednesday. Um, yeah, that's why I look like this. I need to shower immediately, but I'm on my third day of working out in a row, which may not sound like a lot, but I'm telling you, uh, I just love it. I'm feeling really great. So anyway, um, I'm finishing up my coffee as well, and I thought I would open up the vlog. I didn't share anything yesterday. I mentioned that this week was going to be a little bit like family packed just because Sebastian's sister is getting ready to move. So last night we had her over and Sebastian's cousin and our niece as well. So it was like a full house last night. It was really fun. They stayed so super late. We were just like chatting and just talking about like family and life and they're at that age. I mean, obviously they're like 19. So it's like fun to have these like deeper conversations with them. And anyway, so we just had a really fun time um, hanging out. I made Crunchwrap Supremes, which were a hit. And yeah, I just didn't have my camera or anything. And they came over um, like pretty, like at the end of the work day. So it was just a really busy day and I didn't vlog. And then tonight we're having one last final um, goodbye or like see you later um, because she leaves in the morning tomorrow so we're heading over to sebastian's mom's house around like 5 30 so it's gonna be another busy night but um all in all it was really great i'm having a great morning so far 
and that's kind of all I need to update you guys on. There really hasn't been too much. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but yeah, my workout was great. I'm going to now quickly shower and then get some food in and then get back to work. But I just wanted to say good morning and I'll take you guys along through the rest of my day. Here is today's warm and cozy outfit. I did get showered, threw my hair up in a little pony just cause I don't know. I was just feeling it and then I was gonna get dressed um, and I'll probably get dressed later when we leave for um, dinner or whatever but in the meantime I'm just gonna wear my cozy sweats because it is nice and gloomy today maybe you can't see but we've got flurries going on all day so that's where this outfit comes <laughs> so that is going to be today's cozy outfit. I said I was going to give myself two. Did I say that? I'm pretty sure I said that. So that is today. Hello everyone. Welcome to Thursday. I didn't end up vlogging anything yesterday. <laughs> this vlog is sort of feeling like a fail. So hopefully I can string together some clips these next few days or two days, I should say that <laughs> help bind it all together. Like I said yesterday, this week has just been super busy, super family packed, all of that. But um, yeah, we had a great night last night and tonight we are doing nothing, which sounds absolutely incredible to me. <laughs> so we're not going anywhere. We're not seeing anybody. We are staying put and I can clean my house and read my book and do all of the things. First, before I get into all of my chats, I wanted to share Sebastian's birthday card. So his birthday is February 8th. And as you guys know, we have become massive fans of Survivor. So I got him this card. I found it on Etsy. I normally wouldn't buy a card online. Um, but I just found it and I was like, wait, this is so perfect, especially for like this year. We've just been loving it. So I picked that up. I think it was like $8, which again, I don't think I would normally buy a card online and pay for shipping. But you know, he is going to be having a COVID birthday. So I figured I wanted to do things that like make it really special. So that's what I got. Other than that, I really don't know what we're gonna do for his birthday, but that's okay. <laughs> it is coming up, but I have a couple ideas, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, working as I always do. And I did wanna mention that something really exciting, it's not really like exciting, exciting, but um, I have an extra copy of the Nightingale. My sister gave me a ton of books and then I bought this one secondhand and I don't need two copies. And she, my sister had um, this book as well when she gave me all her books. So I really wanted to get rid of it. And then Sebastian was like, oh, why don't you um, put it on TikTok? See if like, you know, you can send it to someone. And I've been growing my little book talk um, over on TikTok and I love it. Like it's just, so fun to be able to have like a social media account that isn't like focused on any of like my job things or anything like that and just something that i truly love like books i don't know i just love it and so i put this up last night and asked if anyone wanted it and someone did it was like so i did not even think it was gonna go anywhere or anyone was gonna want it and within like a couple minutes someone from florida um bought the book so i'm gonna send it out to her i'm gonna like clean it really quickly and then um, I haven't like, I have like a little card. This is why I love having all of the cards stocked up from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna write her a little card and um, I get this off to her. But yeah, I feel like it's such a fun way to like, I don't know, interact with people on there. Like it got a lot of traction, not a lot, but like a lot for me. <laughs> and I got another comment from someone saying like, oh, this is like a perfect idea. I'm gonna start doing this. So I think I'm gonna do that more um, just because I have, yeah, like books that I don't like anymore or that I just don't want to keep um, and kind of cycle out. I think it will be fun to do, I don't know, things like that in the future. We'll see. But yeah, so that was very fun. I'm going to um, get that off to her. If you guys want to follow me on TikTok, I'll leave my TikTok down below. And yeah, if I do more book um, like giveaways and stuff like that, you can um, hopefully get one that you're wanting. Anyway, so that's my afternoon and I'm so excited because from 3.30 to 6.30, I'm hoping sooner, um, Amazon is going to be coming because I ordered a boba making, not like kit, but it's just the powder, like the milk tea powder and the boba pearls. I'm 
so excited. I have been craving it ever since it's like a few weeks ago. Um, I love Colleen Ballinger here on YouTube. I've talked about her all the time. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. And recently she shared a vlog of her, how she makes like her boba at home. And you guys are not even ready. Like every time she drinks it, my mouth waters. <laughs> like I need it so bad. So I got everything that she uses besides the straws, which I think might be an issue, but I have like those glass straws. I don't know. That could be a problem, but it's coming today. So I'm excited to make that with you. I'll show you guys everything and how I do it. And hopefully it tastes good. I, like I said, I love just like regular milk tea boba. Um, they have a lot of different kinds, but so anyway, I'm just waiting for that. And Sebastian is on a little, um, business lunch, which is super exciting. And that is the update. just organizing my book shelf here so it reminded me that maybe I should update you guys on the book that I'm reading this week um, to finish out in January because I did that last week with Divergent and it was fun to like I don't know update you guys as I was reading so this week technically I'm a little bit behind I'm still on my fourth book um, which is like on track but I'm a little bit behind within the week which makes me off track if that makes sense but um, this is my last book of the month and I am reading The Book Thief by Mark Zusak and I do not know why I'm struggling to get into this. Um, I'm on page 205 and yeah, I want to know if anyone has read this or um, yeah, I don't know if it's just me that's feeling like every time I pick it up, I'm not excited to read it which is making it extremely difficult to read and it's like 550 pages. So I have until the 31st <laughs> to finish this up. But yeah, essentially it's all about um, a little girl who goes to live with a foster family during World War II and she finds this book in the snow but doesn't know how to read and her foster father helps her learn to read at night and you follow her um, make a, a best friend um, in this new town in this new school that she's living in and her family hides a Jew in their basement so there's just like lots of it's like the theme of the um book is something that I normally really enjoy and really love reading um but I'm having such a difficult time getting into it I feel like it's so slow and I'm not yeah I'm just not loving it so I feel really bad but um so I'm gonna try to get to page like 275 tonight um maybe 300 i'm gonna see if i can get that done but i do need to read a ton this weekend so anyway um i thought i would just update you since i am sitting um on my bookshelf i got the book sent out which was nice so hopefully she enjoys that and yeah i'm just kind of um making some room kind of figuring out what i'm gonna read for february i'm so excited january i had some pretty like hefty chunky books but for the books i'm reading in february i am going to kind of i don't know like switch it up a little bit do some that are just like a couple hundred pages just so i can fit more in my life i'm trying to i think the problem with having such a big reading goal is like you become very like picky about the books that you're gonna read because even though i'm really interested in one book if it's like like super chunky and hefty it's like oh I might as well just read something else so I can get a lot um, which I hate being like that so there are some that I'm super excited to read next month that just happen to be a little bit shorter but I can feel myself being a little like limited which I don't want to do because I want to read the books that I really want to so um, I'm excited to get that video out for you guys a little later in the month of what I'm gonna be reading and yeah I just kind of wanted to share where I'm at and I'm feeling really bummed that I can't get into this book but I'm just like not feeling it and not loving it yeah let me know if you've read it and maybe if it was slow for you i'm hoping once i get to like 300 maybe it picks up a little bit hello it is way later and my boba came so let's make some boba tea together i have never made this in my life and yeah 
Thank you. You're welcome. Did you make a boba? No, I'm just making it right now. So I'll have it for you after probably. Huh? I know I'm like craving it. So, oh my gosh. Oh, if these are not, oh yeah, okay, few. So I will leave, I'm gonna be following Colleen Ballinger's video because I feel like she made it look so easy and so good. So basically, I will leave that down below. Is my address showing? Yes. So basically, I will leave that down below if you want to follow it, but, and I'll also have all of the ingredients. So this is the milk tea. So it's a blended cream. Oh my gosh. It looks so amazing. And you can make so many fun things with this. So I'm gonna make an iced drink, but you can make them hot. You can make an iced frappe and a shaken ice drink. So there's lots of, this is like horrible lighting. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Okay, so there's lots of different ones, but yeah, I'm gonna do an iced um, milk boba tea. And then you have to buy the pearls and these are tiny. <laughs> I thought that it was gonna be a bigger bag, but that's okay. So I'm excited. Let's make this boba. Okay, we're on to our next step. All of the boba floated to the top and now I'm just gonna cover it and put it on medium heat for like four-ish minutes. Now we're gonna make a simple syrup because I guess she said that they're not like super sweet and don't really taste good, so she just makes a simple syrup and then I'll catch you guys up when I know what I'm doing next. Okay, update. So I took them out of the bigger pan and then put them under cold water and like rinsed them a little bit. And then I put them into my simple syrup to give them a little bit more like sweetness. I guess they'll soak them up. And so while these are sitting here, now we're gonna make our powder. Okay, I'm a little bit scared because she like blends it in her little blender, but Sebastian is doing a podcast <laughs> right now, so. Should I try? I'm just nervous. Like, I don't want to be loud, but I want to do it. So, we'll see. I've come up with a solution because I want it to be frothy like hers, um, but I don't want to use my blender because I don't want to be loud. So, I'm going to use this one, which is like a little milk frother, which is very quiet. So, let's continue on. I basically had to wait a million years because I used hot water. Um, so it's been in the freezer <laughs> forever. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my boba in the bottom. Well, my boba pearls in the bottom and then ice and then the tea. Okay, here it is. It looks so good. I'm so nervous that it's not going to be delicious. I don't know why. I'm just nervous, but, and I'm nervous that the boba is not going to be able to go through the straw, but oh well. It definitely doesn't fit. It has been 10 minutes. This is so delicious. I will say I've already ordered some boba straws. They will be here tomorrow. Um, currently, I'm just scooping them out with my spoon. <laughs> so good. Anyway, that is my boba. I'm so in love with it. I can't wait for Sebastian to try it. So anyway, it is 7 p.m. I haven't made dinner and I'm just eating boba. So I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> <laughs>